Hello everyone. In this problem, the sum of the first n terms of the geometric sequence is given to be 155 over 8, and then we are to find the value of n. Recall that the sum of n terms of geometric sequence is given by the formula where a1 is the first term and r is the common ratio. I mean, the first three terms, we know that the first term is 10. And now in order to find the common ratio, we can divide a2, which is 5, by the first term, or 10 to get one over two. We can also divide the third term by the second term to get the same value for common ratio. To check the common ratio of half, we see that 10 multiplied by one over two becomes five, and then five multiplied by one over two becomes five over two. So the common ratio is one over two. Now we're gonna be using the sum formula, and given that a1 is 10 and r is one over two, we substitute and we get this. Now in order to simplify, we can divide both sides by 10. So we get 155 over 80 equals one minus one over two to the power of n divided by one minus half. Now the denominator on the right-hand side equals half. Next, we multiply both sides of the equality by one over two to eliminate the denominator on the right-hand side. We'll get 155 over 160 equals one minus half to the power of n. Then interchange the fraction on the left and the n term on the right to have all the numbers on the right-hand side. We combine both numbers on the right, we get five over 160. Five over 160 can be simplified to one over 32. Next, we can take the reciprocal of both sides and we get two over one or two to the power of n equals 32 over one. This is equivalent to two to the n equals 32. Now 32 is two to the five, and therefore we can conclude that n equals to five. But the general approach would be taking a logarithm from both sides to bring the n down and then we solve for n. You could take the natural logarithm or common logarithm or log base two, depending on the calculator you use. So we'll get ln two to the n equals ln of 32. Now n can be brought in front of a ln, and then by dividing both sides of the equation by ln two, we can isolate n to be ln 32 over ln two. Now, if you evaluate the right-hand side, we get n to be equal to five. Thanks for watching.